The world of Azeroth is a big place that hides many secrets. The hidden vendors around Azeroth may provide a convenient way to clear out any trash items in your bags without any backpedaling and others offer some rare items and recipes that can be used or sold on the auction house. I will be going through some of the vendors that are in more secluded locations in a random order. So let's begin. On the first spot on our list we have Rank Wildgore, who we can find on the top of the barrens near the Harpy Den. He is an orc vendor which sells some generic items and a few green items that may be useful for some players. You can either use the items or sell them on the auction house. His location is good as he can be used as a quick sell point for some trash items. Also lower in the barrens, we have two out of the way goblin vendors called Kick Nickel and Piz Nickel. They are located in the barrens left from the Veiling Caverns which not many people know about. Their location is pretty good as they can also be used as a quick sell point for any trash items you get in this area. They both sell some decent green gear which can be used or sold on the auction house for some profit. Kick Nickel sells green cloth gear, while Peace Nickel sells two green leather boots for level 15 with 5 agility and with 5 stamina. On the third spot we have George Cantre who is located east of the Durnhold Keep, near the gap in the wall which lets you access Arati Highlands. He is a horde only merchant which can mostly be used as a sell point, but any leather workers can get the green leather armor pattern which is a regent for the good green iron hauberk. This can also fetch a pretty decent price on the auction house which can be helpful as not many people know about him. Also in the same zone we have a vendor that is mostly known to rogues which is Zen Shivsprocket. He is a gnome engineer which sells the recipe for the gnomish cloaking device. He is located inside the Ravenholt Manor which is hidden in the mountains in the Hillsbred foothills. The recipe is good for PvP, but it also can fetch some gold on the auction house. Another pretty hidden and out of the way vendor is Eindel Windspear. She is a ghost located in the ruined uh, Southfin village on the second floor of the village in Insilitus. She is guarded by a bunch of ghostly druids, so you should be careful in reaching her. She sells a bunch of leatherworking recipes that require a reputation with the Scenarian Circle and the Dreamscale Breastplate is the epic item recipe which can be bought after reaching Exalted Reputation with the Scenarian Circle. She is a pretty neat NPC that is in the middle of the enemy territory and I really wanted to add her on the list. The next vendor we have is found in a really out of the way place in a zone that is not visited much by players. Masa Tander is found in the Swamp of Sorrows in a small outpost near the Misty Valley. He is a vendor that only a few people know about, but he is really useful because he sells the leatherworking recipe for the green dragon scale breastplate and two decent green cloaks with stamina buffs. Another vendor that is hidden can be found in Raven Hill in Duskwood. That is the goblin vendor Blistic who is hidden away in one of the buildings there. The vendor can be quite helpful when you level up in this area as he sells potions which heal for a big amount. He also sells the shadow oil recipe for alchemists and can be used as a quick sell point for trash items. So it's worth checking him out. Next on our list we have two hidden gnome vendors that can be found in the hinterlands. They are Gidget and Rupo Zipcoil. They are located in the mountains in the hinterlands which can be accessed by a hidden path above the Queldanil Lodge. Gidget Zipquil can be found outside from the tent and she sells the leatherworking recipe Iron Feather Shoulders while Rupo Zipquil sells the more important engineering recipe which is the Mitrio Mechanical Dragon Link. The trinket is pretty useful for engineers so depending on the server you play on it can fetch a good price on the auction house, so it's pretty smart to park a bank hall there and farm the recipe whenever you can. At the bottom of Westfall in the Moonbrook Inn, 
is the Defiers Profiteer. He is hidden away on the second floor of the building and is friendly with both Alliance and Horde players. He sells two leather boots which are quite good and the alchemy recipe for the Warrior's Rage Potion. Be careful in reaching him though, as the inn is filled with enemy NPCs. One pretty known vendor at an out of the way location is Cowardly Crosby. As his name suggests, he is a coward that is a part of the Blood Cell Pirates, but sells items to both the Horde and Alliance. He is the only one that sells the tailoring pattern for the Admiral's head, which is a part of the pirate costume. He will sell to everyone, no matter their reputation status with his faction. High in the Stone Talon Mountains, in the Venture Co. camp, we can find a lonely goblin vendor. He is located at the top of the waterfall on the platforms of the Venture Co. camp. Nizik is a goblin vendor which sells some decent green items, especially the soldiers, which can be used or sold on the auction house for some profit, or he can be used as a sell point. He is quite out of the way and not many people know about him. Also, in the Venture Co. camp, we have another goblin vendor that sells items. He is located down in a corner above this physics camp. Venix sells some green weapons and offhands, but the special item that he has is the goblin jumper cables. The engineering recipe is sought after by many people and it can be sold on the auction house for some profit. He is quite out of the way and hidden, as such not many people know about him. Next on our list are the robot vendors of Desolus. The zone is pretty barren and many players avoid it, so it's no wonder not many people know about these two vendors, especially when they are part of a timed event. The type of a vendor varies depending on the location of the caravan, which periodically travels and moves between two points in the zone. When the caravan is in the south, the Super Seller 680 will spawn there, but when it's in the north, the Vendor Tron 1000 will spawn there. The Vendor Tron sells a bunch of cooking recipes and some healing potions, while the Super Seller 680 sells more handy stuff. The Super Seller sells a lot of buff scrolls and cooking recipes, but it also sells engineering and tailoring ones. The engineering ones are for the accurate scope, goblin jumper cables and the ice deflector, while the tailoring ones are the dark silk shirt, crimson silk cloak and the enchantress cobble. From all the cooking recipes he sells, the popular is the dragon bread chili, which gives you a chance to breathe fire to your enemies in combat. Hidden away in the eastern plaguelands, in the little town left of the Plaguewood, we can find Augustus the Touched, who is located in a house there. To unlock him as a vendor, you first need to finish his quest to get a book for him from the nearby buildings. He is a good sell point for his location, if you're farming in the area and sells the crazy crab bag, which has a random green item. The item is not worthy all the time and you can always buy it with a loss. Next on our list is a vendor which is hidden away in Winterspring, and that is the Im vendor VL. He is quite important as a vendor because he sells the item needed for the Warlock Epic Mount quest, the Fell Elemental Rod. He also sells a few more important items which are the Gromslot and Fell Cloud, in limited stock, which can be used for crafting. Depending on which server you play on, these can be sold for some profit on the auction house, so it can be quite smart to park an alt there. This is the second video that I've made on this topic, but I haven't even covered half of the vendors that are hidden throughout Azeroth. I may revisit this in the future depending on your reactions, so feel free to let me know what you think in the comments. But that is it for this video, if you liked it consider putting a like. I hope you enjoyed it and I managed to show you something new and I will see you all in the next one.